He should be calling Dana White up and driving him crazy right now. I don't want from me. What's your thoughts on Leon Edwards' route back to the title? Because um, obviously, um, obviously, we may not have the welterweight title fight between Bilal and yeah. Shaka uh, uh, next month, but uh, obviously Bilal's out. Um, yeah. Hearing talk of an interim title, people are chucking Kamara Usman's name into there, but Leon Edwards is now this forgotten man, despite the fact yeah. that he defended yeah. the belt twice. I mean, what's your thoughts on his route back to a uh, title shot? Yeah, I mean, it's interesting, isn't it? As you say, he's kind of been forgotten about all of a sudden. That's probably because Leon's a quiet guy. He keeps himself to himself. He doesn't do a lot of interviews. And he's not the type of guy to, to go out there and get all crazy and say some outlandish things. That does get you headlines. That does get you talked about. Leon does his talking inside the octagon, simple as that. It's a shame that this happened so close to the fight. Had it have been a few weeks earlier, I would have said Leon Edwards... Put your, contact the UFC and say you versus Shavkat because that's the perfect fight for Leon. If he beats Shavkat Rachmanov, all of a sudden he gets a rematch with Bilal Muhammad. If he beats Shavkat, who's on an 18 fight win streak, all finishes, you know, and it's a fight that Leon could do very well in. I mean, he just beat Kamara Usman twice in a row. And of course, he beat Colby as well. But the more impressive one was, st was stopping Kamaru and then beating him by decision. Look at what Kamaru did against Hamzat Chimeyev. Of course, that has aged really nicely since um, Hamzat went out there and destroyed Robert Whittaker. So what Leon did to Kamaru speaks volumes. And Leon obviously wants to be the champion again. He's still a young man. I think he's 32. Still got a lot of time left in this sport. Fight Shavkat. Say, screw it. Let's do it. Let's do a five, six week camp. Let's roll the dice. Put me in, Dana. Put me in, coach. He should be calling Dana White up and driving him crazy right now. For sure.